If you want sharper memory, better mood, a brain that stays healthy for decades, what you eat really matters. Today I'm giving you three quick food swaps that could transform your brain health starting today. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter, a medical doctor and brain researcher. And while there's no magic food that fixes everything, there are clearly eating patterns that can help to protect your brain, while other eating patterns put your brain at risk for things like brain fog, mental health issues, and even cognitive decline. This is for educational purposes only and is not designed to take the place of seeking medical care. If you like to learn about your brain, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's get right into it. The first health hack to improve your brain health is to ditch the soda. Sugary drinks are one of the worst things that you can put in your body, especially as it relates to your brain health. Why is this the case? Sugary drinks flood your system with added sugar, things like high fructose corn syrup or cane sugar, which spikes inflammation, damages blood vessels, and is linked to higher risk for cognitive decline when we consume these beverages over time. I wanna be clear, drinking one soda is not the issue, but when we consistently consume sugary beverages, it puts our overall and brain health at risk. Drinking more sugary beverages is correlated with things like worse mental health and higher risk for cognitive decline. So what should we do instead? Diet sodas may seem like a good idea, but they're not necessarily a free pass. Researchers suggest that diet sodas may actually harm the microbiome, which may affect the brain. Even though this research is preliminary, I think it is something to pay attention to. What is a better choice than things like artificial sweeteners and other diet soda sweeteners? I think moving towards sparkling water with no added sweeteners. I like a splash of real fruit juice, a squeeze of lemon or lime juice. If you do choose to use sweeteners in your beverage, some of the better sweeteners based on the literature that we have right now would be things like monk fruit, stevia, and allulose. And if you're really drinking soda or sweetened drinks because of the caffeine, you can look at something like an unsweetened coffee or a tea instead. Next swap is going to be to swap processed snacks like chips, cookies, crackers, and granola bars for whole foods. Most of these snacks are basically dessert in disguise. They're full of refined carbs, unhealthy fats, and additives that are linked to worse gut health, worse metabolic health, worse immune health, and because all of those things correlate with the brain, worse brain health. Instead of eating these processed foods, consider stocking up on nutrient-rich snacks that can help to stabilize blood sugar and help to feed your brain. So instead of eating a handful of chips, look for a handful of walnuts or almonds. These are nuts that contain high levels of healthy fiber, omega-3s, as well as vitamins and minerals. I also like pumpkin, sunflower seeds because of their mineral and vitamin content. They're also rich in protein and omegas. And when it comes to other foods that can support your health that are easy to bring around as snacks, berries are wonderful. Blueberries have been independently studied to be beneficial to brain health. They're rich in brain protective polyphenols. And if you're looking for a little punch of sweet, some squares of dark chocolate, because dark chocolate is also a top source of polyphenols, can be a great option. Other ideas, hummus with veggies, apple slices with almond butter, all things that I incorporate in my day and make it much easier for you when you're eating these healthy snacks, not to feel so much like you need to turn to those unhealthy snacks, what comes from things like vending machines when you get hungry. The last healthy snack when it comes to upgrading your brain health is going to be to boost or upgrade your fat consumption. Your brain is mostly fat when you take out the water, so what you eat does become part of your brain, and we know that certain fats are especially important to brain health. The fats that you want to be avoiding when it comes to your brain health are going to be trans fats, fried foods, because these are things that are linked to increased levels of inflammation, and therefore may increase risk for things like mental and cognitive decline. You might also consider cutting back on highly processed seed oils. I do think that the seed oil conversation has been massively overblown as it relates to the concerns that people have around vegetable oils and health. However, seed oils and vegetable oils tend to be found in highly processed foods. So whether it's canola oil or corn oil or sunflower oil, what is typically seen in this seed oil family, the reality is that the foods that contain these seed oils tend to be things we want to swap out when it comes to our brain health anyway, and there are healthier versions of fats that we can be consuming for brain health. So instead of these more processed oils, prioritize omega-3 fatty acids. These are fats that are found in foods like cold water fish, especially we're looking for the omega-3s DHA and EPA. 
So salmon, sardines, mackerel. We also get precursors to these omega-3s in foods like nuts, seeds, and uh, they can be converted to some extent into the DHA and EPA. But we also want to be prioritizing monounsaturated fats as well as polyunsaturated fats from other sources. So for monounsaturated fats, we're thinking about things like avocados as well as extra virgin olive oil. In particular, extra virgin olive oil is my favorite source of fat each day. I aim for one to two tablespoons a day based on the data showing that extra virgin olive oil consumption is correlated with better brain health. To summarize, your brain's future is shaped by the choices you make each day. So if you can make some simple swaps to your diet by removing the soda, upgrading your snacks, and choosing better fats, these things can have an amazing compounding benefit to your brain health. Small changes now mean big changes down the line, and these small things can actually contribute to better thinking, better mood, and a healthier brain for decades to come. If you found this helpful, make sure to hit subscribe. It's very helpful to me, and you'll get lots more science-backed tips for better brain health coming your way soon. Thanks for watching.